Hey everybody, this is Jim with Athens Archery. Welcome to another video from our tech series. Today we're going to talk about how to properly change out your strings and cables. Strings and cables over time definitely wear out and you will eventually have to replace them. So we're going to show you how to properly do it and make sure that you've got everything lined up correctly. So when you get your new set of strings and cables, if you look closely, you'll have on each of your cables, you'll have two separate serving lengths. One cable on one end will have a very long serving length on one side and on the opposite end will be a short serving length. The reason for that is the way that the cables lie in the tracks. This is called your payout section of the track and this is considered your take up section of the track. As you draw the bow back, you can see this section of the module track is taking up the cable length. So what we want to make sure is that this serving is protecting that cable the entire length and this section is paying out. And that's why it's very important that you make sure you get the payout and the take up serving sections on your cables in the proper location. So you've got your bow in the press and you're ready to install your new strings and cables. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take one of your cables and this is very important. A lot of people that get these confused, they'll put one cable in front of the other. There's a very specific order the cables need to be put on the bow. Uh, there's different tricks to remember this. This is my trick I'm going to show you. So I will take, again, the long serving section of the cable and I put it on the bottom cam. And remember to put it on the take up track. So it's on the bottom portion here and then we will bring it up and loop it on the payout section of the track. Now this will be the cable that goes in the back. Then we'll take the second cable and we'll do the exact opposite. We'll start at the top cam and put it on the take up track and notice that it is in front of the other cable and then we'll put it on the payout on the bottom cam. At this point you can install your cable slide. So we'll take our cable slide and if you notice the cable, the cable slide has two slots on it. One is a little bit longer than the other so we'll take the longer slot and the longer slot goes towards the riser. Now if you notice, with this bow in the press and I'm manually rotating the cams, you'll notice that these cables do not interfere with one another. If you have them on, in, if you have the cable slide on incorrectly, or reverse the cables, Notice the cables interfere with one another. This is obviously incorrect. If you notice when you put your cables on backwards, they will cross and touch incorrectly here. So this is why it's important to make sure that you have the cables on with the proper one in front of the other and the cable slide in the proper place. It's pretty easy to check if you've screwed something up because the cables will cross and will touch one another. They are not supposed to do this. Okay, now that we've got our cables on, we're gonna put our string on. String is a little bit easier but you will notice that there is a serving for the suppressor down at the bottom section. So we'll make sure that that, that suppressor serving goes on the bottom and then we we'll put on the top. From here, what I like to do is I will pull up on the string while the bow is in the press to make sure all the cables are in the tracks and proper. If the, cable, if the, tra if the cables don't go in the tracks, then you end up with a potential a bow that will potentially explode if you try to shoot it. And I'll give you a demo of what that looks like as well. The, I'll give you a demo of what the, the cables popping out of the tracks look like. So I will lower the bow in the press. And I'll double check to make sure that my cables are properly, land, properly lined up in the tracks. If you don't make sure that your cables line up in the tracks, you can end up with an issue like this. And this bow would be very unsafe to shoot. Now that we've got our strings and cables back on the bow, at this point we'll put it on a drawboard, make sure that our bow is timed. We've covered that in another video. 
and then from there reattach our D-loop, our peep, uh, tie down our rest if we're using a cable driven rest. For more information, check out our tech series at www.athensarchery.com.